You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohamed Shaban. Good evening. Under the patronage of the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club hosted a race held over His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's Cups. His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, first SCYS Deputy Chairman and Bahrain Olympic Committee President, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chairman of the High Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and Deputy President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and Deputy Chairman of the club's High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, attended the seven-round race at the club's race course in Rafah. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa said that the equestrian sport enjoys the constant support and interest of the first knight in the kingdom, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, which contributed to Bahrain's success and reaching a distinguished position in this sport, citing the honorable accomplishments of Bahraini youth in this regard. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman paid tribute to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for His Royal Highness's unwavering support for such a deep-rooted Arab sport, which he, His Highness said proves its distinguished status as an integral part of Bahrain identity that the fathers and forefathers had been keen to preserve. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman lauded the massive participation in the prestigious race from Bahrain and abroad, praising the key role played by the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club in organizing local and international races in which distinguished jockeys and stables participate, extending sincere congratulations to the winners of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's Cups and wishing them further success. His Highness Sheikh Isa affirmed his keenness to continue developing the equestrian sport in the kingdom according to the best standards and systematic programs that would meet the aspirations of all stables and jockeys in Bahrain, noting that Bahraini youth's growing interest in such a sport is a catalyst for providing them with more opportunities to become professional riders and to be able to compete at local, regional and international races. The deputy patron of the race, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, presented the trophies of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's Cups for locally bred horses and imported horses to His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness also crowned trainer Abdullah Kweti, the winner of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister's Cup for Arabian Horses. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman also presented the trophy of the club's High Committee Cup to His Highness Sheikh Sultan al bin Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa and that of the Bahrain Derby Cup to winning trainer Fawzi Nas. Meanwhile, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa was presented with a trophy of the Stewards Cup by the Executive Director of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, Sheikh Salman bin Rashid Al Khalifa, following the success of Byline owned by Al Adiyat Racing in winning the fifth round.
The Arabian Breed Show Championship and the first horses of Egyptian Breed Championship, which was held under the directive of His Majesty the King's Representative for Humanitarian Works and Youth Affairs in Bahrain Royal Equestrian and Endurance Federation Brief Honorary President, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa, and under the patronage of the President of the Royal Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, concluded its activities today. The event took place at the Military Sports Union Square, a Transit Equestrian Club, and Horse Racing Club in Al Rafah. His Highness affirmed that the Arabian Breed Show Championship has recorded continuous successes after the wide local participation over the past two days, noting that hosting a championship for Egyptian breeds is an indication of the Bahraini breeder and stable's ability in affirming the current status of local production. His Highness noted that the diversity of activities and popularity of the Arabian horse beauty sports motivates the Federation to continue organizing various events where the kingdom has become a home for equestrian sports. His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa expressed his appreciation to all the participants, including owners, breeders and stables, and emphasized the importance of diversifying the horse sports championships and working on developing them, pointing out that this sport has a large number of supporters and it is important to work on developing this championship annually in order to maintain its continuity. For his part, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa affirmed that the success of the championship is a result of the support and follow-up of His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his keenness to provide all facilities to the participating owners, educators and stables. His Highness stated that the Federation is keen on implementing the plans and programs that will continue the advancement of equestrian sports in general and the Arabian Horse Beauty sports through the organization of various championships, praising the efforts of the Arabian Horse Beauty Committee and its keenness on organizing the tournament in a distinctive manner. The competitions ended this evening where various competitions were held amidst wide participation and exciting competitions. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Islam bin Abdullah Khalaf, announced the completion of the transitioning of 27 municipal services into electronic services. As part of the ministry's endeavor to remotely serve citizens, residents and investors in the Kingdom of Bahrain and to facilitate procedures for submission and review of municipal services as well as to limit personal visits of users and clients as much as possible, the minister noted that the electronic transformation is a strategic project in line with the Kingdom's 2030 vision and the Government Action Plan 2019-2022. He noted that it is also fully consistent with the directives of the Information and E-Government Authority praising their unlimited support for the ministry. He also added that the ministry has developed a plan of action and formed a specialized technical team to convert municipal services into electronic services in order to build a unified platform to accommodate all municipal services in the near future. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Walid bin Khalifa al mana affirmed that not complying with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus has led to a noticeable increase in the recent rates and indicators of existing cases. He stressed that the health and safety of citizens and residents is a priority, noting that raising the level of commitment to precautionary measures and adherence to the instructions issued is the best method to reduce the number of cases. He noted that people should continue to adhere to the precautionary and preventative measures that have been issued since the start of the pandemic, indicating that through such measures, it is possible to combat the various strains of the virus. And Manat pointed out that emergency plans will be implemented in order to meet the challenge, including increasing the number and frequency of tests and strengthening the contact tracing process in order to speed up the discovery of existing cases as well as the recovery process. He noted that national efforts to limit the spread of the coronavirus will continue through random testing units on a daily basis in several locations. He also stated that the random testings will apply to those residing in the area where the random testing unit is located and visitors of local markets where the random testing is being held. And Manat also revealed that groups Groups to which the random testing do not apply, which are contacts of active cases, those who wish to conduct pre-travel tests, as well as people who show symptoms of the virus. The Undersecretary called on those wishing to obtain a coronavirus test or a pre-travel checkup to go to private hospitals licensed to conduct these tests, indicating that the list of these hospitals has been previously announced and published on the official website of the Ministry of Health. Continuing his visit to the Republic of Djibouti, the Speaker of the Arab Parliament, Adel bin Abdurrahman al-Asumi, and his accompanying delegation met with the Minister of the Budget and Republic of Djibouti, Abdul Karim Adnan Sheikh. Al-Asumi affirmed during the meeting the Arab Parliament's support for the strategy of the Republic of Djibouti's development, praising the economic reform efforts led by President Ismail Omar Gulla and his ambitious plans to transform Djibouti into an important logistics center in East Africa, being an important point connecting between Asian, African, and European markets and an important 
important stop on the Marine Silk Road. El Asumi added that the Arab Parliament offers support for the least developed Arab countries, including the Republic of Djibouti, at the top of its priorities and it will work to intensify Arab efforts and international support for it based on the Arab national responsibility in the Arab world by helping those countries and advancing their development march in all fields. The Speaker of the Arab Parliament called on Arab countries to increase their investment projects in the Republic of Djibouti, especially in infrastructure projects such as business ports, airports, road networks, energy and other investment attracting sectors. Lasumi stressed the importance of establishing joint business councils with the Republic of Djibouti in order to advance the relations of trade exchange and joint investments. For his part, the Minister of Budget of the Republic of Djibouti expressed his appreciation for the role the Arab Parliament led by the Adil Asumi to boost Arab support to the Republic of Djibouti in all fields, stressing that the new phase of the Arab Parliament is witnessing a major shift in the Arab Parliament's interest in supporting the march of joint Arab action and strengthening Arab solidarity and constant communication amongst Arab countries. In accordance with the precautionary measures taken to limit the spread of the coronavirus and based on the recommendations of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism affirmed that starting tomorrow, indoor dining services at restaurants and cafes for a period of three weeks will be suspended. Outdoor services will continue to be permitted provided the reservations do not exceed 30 people with a maximum of six people per table in addition to other precautionary measures that must be adhered to. The ministry noted the importance of adhering to the procedures and precautionary measures issued by the Ministry of Health with the aim of limiting the spread of the coronavirus, stressing that it would not hesitate to impose the necessary sanctions on perpetrators of commercial violations. The Ministry of Labor and Social Development announced that based on the recommendations of the National Task Force to combat the coronavirus starting tomorrow and for a period of three weeks, attendance in government rehab centers and home affiliated, affiliated to the ministry, nurseries and private training centers as well as institutes licensed by the ministry will be suspended while continuing their services remotely. Members of the administrative, educational and technical bodies of those institutions are excluded while attendance for people with special needs will continue in private and community centers. In this regard, the Ministry of Labor and Social Development stressed the importance of adhering to the procedures and precautionary measures issued by the Ministry of Health. The Ministry of Education affirmed that based on the recommendations of the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus starting tomorrow and for a period of three weeks, attendance in public and private schools, kindergartens and higher educational institutions will be suspended, with the exception of the members of the administrative, educational and technical bodies in all educational institutions. Trading in the real estate sector in the Kingdom of Bahrain recorded an increase in the last two quarters of the year 2020, where the rate of increase in the fourth and last quarter was about 20 percent, and the third quarter witnessed an increase of about 14 percent. This increase comes as a result of the measures taken by the government to preserve economic activity in general, including the real estate sector, where the government balanced between taking precautionary measures and providing support, as well as the appropriate climate to ensure the continuity of work in vital economic sectors, including the real estate sector, which had a great impact on the relative stability. The real estate the state sector has an attractive investment environment due to the protection legislations available in the Kingdom of Bahrain for the sector as well as the interest and support the sector receives from the government. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 3,651, with 284 recoveries and 468 registered new cases. 198 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 265 were contacts of active cases, and five were travel-related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the Nat National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.